Welcome back everyone, Ryan Monetize here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over, I'll, I'll be asking myself the question, am I going to leave Puerto Rico? So someone recently asked me this, I believe it was in the live that I did a few days ago, and I actually wanted to answer this question because I think it's a good question, and it's gonna put some things into perspective. And if you're someone who is considering moving to Puerto Rico, then, this might actually change your mind with what I'm going to say today. So this is the number one thing. When the market goes up, right, there is this huge rush of people that always want to move to Puerto Rico to save money on taxes. But the problem is that their timing absolutely sucks, okay? So for example, let's say I bought Bitcoin at an average price of $10,000. And let's say that I wanted to move to Puerto Rico and Bitcoin hit $50,000 to save on taxes. See, here's the problem. The problem is that, let's say you move to Puerto Rico and um, the price is $50,000. You now have to pay taxes on that $40,000 gain. So from 10 to 50, you, ha you have a $40,000 gain. Let's say that I'm coming from California. I'm gonna need to pay federal and state taxes on that gain. And now my new cost basis is $50,000. That is most people's approach. Some people come here and they anticipate to sit on their assets for 10 years, but I'm just saying that I would never trust the Puerto Rican government to keep a promise for 10 years. That sounds crazy. So for me personally, I got lucky when I moved to Puerto Rico, the price was $6,000 for Bitcoin. So I don't really wanna get into the whole subject of when can you like set in the price of when you moved. Some people say it's the first day you visit. Some people say it's the first day you move here. Some people say it's the day you sign your lease. You know what, I think it could potentially be either one of those and you kind of have the choice or when you even declare to the, to the federal government um, or the IRS that you have made a move, you need to talk to a lawyer to really get that right on what your options are of when you declare the move because that is a huge part of the equation when it comes to the whole tax situation. So technically, right now everyone is not thinking about moving to Puerto Rico, right? Because they're like, oh, I don't really have any gains. But the truth of the matter is that now is like the best time to do it. And it's like, imagine that Bitcoin drops to like under, you know, your average entry price. Um, and then you move to Puerto Rico and so you don't have to pay taxes and then, you know, on anything because you had no gains of when you moved here. And then, you know, you basically, that is your new cost basis. So, that's the problem is that everyone wants to move during the wrong time. It always is the case. So, you know, you're not thinking about taxes because you're way down, but the truth of the matter is that if you still believe the Bitcoin's going to rise, go to 100, 200, $1 million, then actually considering Puerto Rico is not a bad idea. So wanted to get that part out of the way if you're someone who has ever considered moving here for the tax incentives, okay. I also think that a lot of people are actually going to be leaving Puerto Rico. For most people are like, you know what, it's not gonna make sense. They like don't really believe in like Bitcoin going, um, you know, to a certain amount over whatever period of time. They don't really like Puerto Rico. The cost of living here is too high compared to where they're coming from. It's just not the quality of life that they were looking for. They're looking for something different. So I do anticipate a lot of people to leave because for most people, moving to Puerto Rico is an expense and um, it would just be easier for them. Like they don't see um, basically the incentive to be here anymore. Like it's just like risking too much because they don't believe there is a big enough reward on the other side, which is fine. So am I gonna be leaving Puerto Rico? The answer is no. I have absolutely no intentions on leaving Puerto Rico. When people ask me, when are you going to leave Puerto Rico? My answer is when it's not fun anymore. This place is way too much fun for me to ever leave. The quality I have here is like seriously off the charts. And I just realized that I am someone that needs to be outside as much as possible. I live super close to the ocean. I could drive to the mountains. The nature here just fills my soul in a very unique way. I could not go back to the small town that I live in or used to live in my hometown in California because I know that my mental health would absolutely plummet there, okay? It's just, it doesn't have the beauty and the nature and the sunshine that I need. I have now become dependent on, sh on, sh on, 
sunshine, dependent on sunshine. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Anytime that it is cloudy for a day or two, it's like, I don't even know how to respond. I am actually dependent on sunshine. And so being anywhere that is just not beautiful and has amazing weather, I don't think is ever going to be a possibility for me. For me, weather and beauty and being able to be outdoors and in nature and take walks to beautiful places, that is really important for me. So that's a huge part of me staying here in Puerto Rico. And another part of it is that, okay, so let's say that I went back to my hometown in California. The, my cost of living would basically be exactly the same, if not more. So for example, um, you know, I pay $1,000 for rent in Puerto Rico, which is extremely low, and I am in a pretty lucky situation. But I really wouldn't be able to get much, like probably a studio for $1,000, like back in the town that I'm from, from, and I'm not anywhere near LA or even the Bay Area. And then I also think about internet. Like when I go visit my parents, you know, the upload speed is like 10 versus here over Wi-Fi. My upload speed is 500. Like it'll take me three hours to upload a YouTube video. Um, and here it takes me like three minutes. My productivity is way higher here simply because of the internet and it's cheap. My internet's like what, 70 or $80 a month. So um, when I think about utilities, my utilities would probably be more if I was in California. I split a $50 water bill and I split, you know, an average $80 electrical bill and my propane is probably a split of like no more than $40 a month here. So my, um, my utility costs are low. My rent is low. Um, when it comes to the, you know, the cost to have a car, it's exactly the same here of where it would be somewhere else. The only situation of where it would make sense was if I was living like in maybe Mexico or something. But then again, it doesn't really matter because I would still have to pay taxes um, on my gains. So Puerto Rico is still the only place, unless I renounce my citizenship, which I do not plan on doing, Puerto Rico is really the only place that you can be, maintain your U.S. citizenship, and um, not pay capital gains taxes. There's also the component of my YouTube, cha YouTube channel, which makes income, okay? So that is a 4% corporate tax versus, um, you know, if I'm in California, I'm definitely not paying a 4% corporate tax, so I'm saving a ton of money when it comes to taxes on my YouTube business because I am exporting services. I also have my car rental business, and so, if you want to rent a vehicle while you're in Puerto Rico, I'll go to put a link down below. Just send us a message on your dates and we'll get you hooked up with a car. And so I have a car rental business here, which doesn't necessarily need me to be here all of the time, but I just, it's like, I want to be in Puerto Rico. Like Puerto Rico is a place that I want to be. For the first time in my life, I feel homesick when I leave. Like I really want to get back here. And so, I have the car rental business thing, which, you know, I could basically put more systems in place to where I don't have to be here all the time, but it doesn't really matter. Like I haven't been forced to put those systems in place because I really just want to spend the majority of the time of my time here. So yeah, like where else would I go? Like I'm not going back to California. And if I move, you know, I would choose probably a different country before I chose going back to the States, like I would probably choose Portugal or Mexico. But then again, I still have to owe, you know, taxes. Like this is the best tax situation for me. And so, and I also think that if I wanna like ever start any in-person businesses, I think there's a massive opportunity in Puerto Rico. When it comes to anything tourism related, there are so many gaps in the tourism market that are untapped and untouched. And when I, in Puerto Rico, I see, opportunity off the charts. Um, way more opportunity here, like when it comes to starting an in-person business versus if I was back in my hometown in California. And there's also the component of like most opportunity if I want to start an in-person business, you know, or if I want to export services, right? It's a massive, massive advantage. I mean, of course, Puerto Rico is not perfect by any means. And I was kind of reminded by that with a friend that had a medical issue and he like had to basically go back to Chicago to get medical attention because the situation here was just absolutely ridiculous. But, you know, 
I'm a person that really like rarely goes to the doctor and I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to like live my life in fear of like, oh my gosh, what if, you know, something happens to me and I don't get the right help in a hospital. I'm just like, you know what? The odds of that are slim and I'm going to take that risk. It's a risk that I think is worth taking. I'm young. Maybe I'll change my mind when I get older, but it's like, I'm not going to make decisions based off of fear and I'm going to make decisions based off of probability. You know, there's also the component of like, I went on a walk this morning and oh, Mondays are bad. There are just trash everywhere on the streets, at the beach, in front of like restaurants. And then people just don't like to pick up their dog poop here. It's really, really gross. Every time I see someone like dog poop and they don't have a bag to pick it up, I'm always this close to saying something like I I have like overcome road rage. Like I don't get road rage, but I get trash rage and I get not picking up your dog poop rage. And I just had to remind myself today, Mariah, focus on the things you can control. You can't control that no one picks up their dog poop and no one picks up their beer bottles. So have to just balance it out because like I am definitely sometimes concerned that I oversell Puerto Rico, but gosh, I have a really good experience here and I'm well aware this is like not the best place to live, but I freaking love my life here and I don't see myself leaving anytime soon. And so, um, I know a lot of people though, they come here. It's like now that people are like, well, you know, what's the point? The gain really isn't there. I'm going to go back to where I came from. Um, but I just wanted to share with you guys my personal experience and my decision. So that is all that I have for you today. As always go out there and create a portfolio that you love.